Hi guys, in the morning Kira had some oatmeal, so I've added three cups of water to a pot with one and a half cups of quick oats. And here I'm making a caramel date sauce, which is just a bunch of dates blended up with water, and it tastes really good. I'm also going to be adding some fresh strawberries and some sliced bananas. I also ended up adding a bit of soy milk to it and this combination was so good it was like eating dessert for breakfast. So for lunch I made some cauliflower alfredo sauce and if you guys would like to know how to make this I'll add a link for it. And for the pasta I made some whole grain spaghetti and I've also added some broccoli to it. After lunch we went for a walk to my parents house and right now she's having an apple. Um, we're going to be working on our garden and they live about 20 minute walk away but with Kira it's more like 45 minutes because she'd rather walk everywhere. She doesn't want to go in her stroller anymore. And when we got there she also had some more strawberries. has been a really bad year for gardening in the east coast of Canada. Um, we were having frosts until the end of June, so that's why my garden doesn't look that great right now, but it's slowly coming along. A few days ago I went across town and I found these Gardein Crispy Tenders, so I thought I'd give them a try. I'm also making some purple sweet potatoes. I'm going to be steaming them. So this is a fun way to incorporate some purple cabbage to your meals. I'm just going to be making like an edible bowl out of them. I'm going to be mashing these sweet potatoes and adding them inside the bowl and also mashing this avocado and this one isn't the best looking one. On the top I'm adding some cherry tomatoes and that's it for this meal. It's pretty simple but it tasted good. That's it for this week's video. If you'd like to know all the info to this video, it's in the description box below. And I'll see you next week. Bye!